Hello and welcome to another video brought to you by whatacker.com. My name is Matthew Glazier and I am going to guide you through Premier League game week 31. We've got 10 matches to enjoy starting at Saturday lunchtime all the way through to Monday. I'm going to give you a betting tip and a correct score prediction for each of the games. Make of them what you will. Please remember to gamble responsibly. We're diving straight into the action starting with... Anfield, Saturday lunchtime, Liverpool against Watford. The Reds have got a chance to go top of the Premier League. They probably will, but you're not going to get rich backing Jurgen Klopp's side to beat Roy Hodgson's forlorn Hornets or forlorn Nets. Uh, we think it'll be around 3-0 this game. Liverpool and both teams to score no. Looks like a decent accumulator pick. Liverpool in Yuraka on the win market, if you like, but they're pretty short price. Brighton and Hove Albion are on a really bad run of games at the moment. We're expecting them to... Maybe beat Norwich in um, in this Saturday three o'clock kickoff, but we go for both teams to score. Yes, uh, the Canaries are drinking in last chance saloon. They've got to go for it. They've got to go for wins. We can see it being quite an open game. Brighton may be edging this, but it, it, with a two-one victory, Burnley clash with Manchester City at Turf Moor. This is the sort of game where City will probably win, but they'll probably sort of like just grind out the win. They've got big assignments coming up in the Champions League and some clashes against Liverpool in the FA Cup and Premier League. Uh, Burnley, good at keeping things tight generally. Under two and a half goals is probably the best bet. We go for a 1-0 Manchester City win on the correct score market. Chelsea go up against Brentford, a bit of a West London derby. Um, Chelsea were really lucky to win at the Brentford Community Stadium in the reverse fixture. We don't think they'll be as fortunate here to seal a victory. About a 3-0 get win might be on the cards here, despite Ericsson, Christian Eriksen bringing some magic to the bees. Uh, Chelsea and both teams to score. No, their defensive record continues to be ridiculously strong. We're not sure Brentford will trouble them too much here. Leeds United go up against Southampton. Um, we can see both teams scoring in this game. So BTTS, yes, on your coupon, I think, uh, for this game. Something like a 2-2 draw. I mean, Leeds aren't completely safe from relegation, but they did get that 3-2 win at Molyneux. So Ellen Road should be bouncing for the return of the Premier League action. And Southampton, I think, will uh, hopefully have regrouped a little bit after a, a lull um, just before the international break. Wolverhampton Wanderers go up against Aston Villa. Villa are a hard team to predict under Steven Gerrard. They're generally going in the right direction, um, but we wouldn't be certain that they'll win this game. And they are slight betting favourites, which is slightly puzzling. Um, we think a draw could be a good result in this game. It covers the 0-0 and the 1-1 and the 2-2, uh, obviously. Uh, Raul Jimenez is suspended for Wolves, but they are generally um, quite capable. And to be honest, that red card to Jimenez changed the game against Leeds when they were winning 2-0. Saturday tea time games at Old Trafford, Manchester United against Leicester. You're not going to find me back in Man United at odds on. You will find me back in Leicester City plus half a goal on the Asian handicap. The Foxes have certainly picked up under Brendan Rodgers in the last few weeks. They should have used the international break pretty well. Wesley Fofana and Johnny Evans should be back in defence for the Midlands side. Um, they're certainly capable of getting a result against a United team who are obviously quite hot and cold. Leicester won the reverse fixture 4-1. Um, we suggest this result, this game might finish in something like a 1-1 scoreline this time around. Um, West Ham United go up against Everton. We're going to go for West Ham to win this game, something like a 2-0 or a 2-1. Um, West Ham are a better team than Everton this season and the league table completely sort of illustrates that. Uh, Declan Rice was in excellent form for England during the week and he can help um, engineer... Uh, a victory against an Everton side who they're just really bad on the road aren't they? they they just don't seem to have any ideas of how to stop leaking goals and they don't create an awful lot either really they're a bit Jekyll and Hyde as far as home and away form is concerned uh, I'm not sure Frank Lampard's going to have changed an awful lot really you won't get a particularly nice reception at the London Stadium and he certainly won't be pleased if West Ham win the game and Everton get drawn into the drop zone uh, Tottenham play Newcastle on Sunday afternoon we're going to have a Tottenham to win and both teams to score yes uh, Eddie Howe has really sort of transformed Newcastle in the last few weeks, although they did lose 1-0 at Everton. And he's going to probably have one eye on rebuilding for next season now and the players that are going to be part of Newcastle's bright and clear future and those that won't. Um, Tottenham uh, still in with a shout of finishing in the top four this season under Antonio Conte. Harry Kane will return from international duty looking to fill his boots in front of goal. We can see something like a 3-1 victory taking place here with Son Heung-min also looking to be in very good form and Dejan Kulisevsky looking good for Sweden in the international break. Finally, 
Uh, Crystal Palace play Arsenal on Monday night, bit of a London derby. Patrick Vieira um, will hope to engineer a victory against his former team. We're going to go for the draw in this game. Uh, Arsenal have been on a really good run. They don't concede many goals, but uh, Palace have got so many vibrant attacking players, including the returning Eberet Chiesa. Um, we think that um, Palace, uh, there'll be a cauldron of noise at Salhurst Park and we think that Palace could be good for getting a point. Don't forget they beat Everton 4-0 in the FA Cup before the international break. Uh, could be honours even, we'll go for a 1-1 scoreline here. Those are the 10 Premier League predictions for this coming weekend in the Premier League. Um, as far as uh, our tips are concerned, the Saturday shortlist is going to be recorded on Thursday. It's going to be going live shortly after it's been recorded. You can check out our win Acker, which won last weekend. Our both teams to score Akka and our big money accumulator as well. Just head over to whatacker.com now. You'll probably find some fresh content. We're always adding new stuff. Hopefully you'll find something you enjoyed reading or watching. Remember to follow the latest emails. They're completely free to subscribe to. They're well worth getting into your inbox. And I just hope you have a really good weekend and um, have lots of fun with the bets. Hopefully we'll get a few returns. Cheers for now, guys.